Hello everyone, welcome back from Amelino Blog and today I am going to share about my career changes and some of my experience when I choose a university and major for my future career. So, uh, and also I understand all the important message and important note at the end of this video, so watch to the end. So let's start guys. So first of all, I want to share you guys about my experience uh, when I choose in the university and major for my future career. So let's start. So I got graduated from high school in 2018 June. I have to choose a university first and I have to choose between private university and public university. I have to choose the private university because I got only over 200 mark in my high school last year. In Myanmar, basically, you have to uh, get like over 450 mark to get get the great major. Uh, what I mean is the major that will bring you away after your graduation. So I can get any of those kind, uh, those kind of major, and I am so happy about that. And I have no regret about that because that what I want to be. I have to choose between a private university. So I was choosing depend on my. Uh, hobby and I was wanted to be the future uh, like fashion designer or I was wanted to be like uh, architecture and I was not sure about that I think I will want to be that in future so <laughs> I was searching about the uh, design university and architecture university from overseas and uh, this all of the university uh, I just uh, as Ken uh, said to me that uh, the next semester will be start in 2019, so I don't want to wait that long. So I have only one chance left, and that is I have to attend the uh, Economic University. So I choose the uh, 31st University that I currently attend. So I want to share you guys about uh, my experiences uh, when I choose in this university and when I choose in this uh, major. First thing is the university. I feel like um, I'm choosing a right university because <laughs> most of the private universities from my country are like ruleless. They don't have uh, uh, many rules and they are not straight and left for teenagers. So, but the university I choose is really straight and they are really cared about the students. So they have a lot of rules and they will call your mom, they will call your parent if you are leaving from the class or if you are doing a forget like this. They are so straight but I'm okay with that because uh, I think if there is no rule, uh, I will be so oh and I will fit all the classes. Uh, I got a feeling so satisfying to choose this university. The next experience is about my major. I chose a major economic. Uh, I have to take many tests and interview. Uh, all I remember is I have to take English test, mathematics test, and when I say in Burmese. But I am so lucky and I got the interest uh, to the university. I'm both from business family, so I am familiar with uh, business. Thing. I am familiar with economic, I am familiar with business then. So yeah, learning about the economic, learning about the business is kind of easy for me because I am so familiar to them and I thank to my family about that. <laughs> and then I don't have a uh, worry about my assignment because I know that I can pass my assignment uh, mostly because, you know, I got uh, a lot of help from my family. It is not like uh, they are helping me with my assignment. It is something like uh, my parents are used to talk about their business thing and economic thing in front of me. I have to read all these things in English and I have to write my assignment in English. So these are the only thing that I face uh, uh, that I think as a difficulty. And another main difficulty, another bad thing, uh, just because I choose this major is this major is a little bit too far from my childhood dream. So, so yes, uh, I got a lot of my breakdown, and yes, I am going to share with you guys about that later. First of all, I feel like uh, I am not living my life really well. I am not spending my life really well. Actually, I do a lot of business things. Uh, 
you know, I set the closures and I was planning to launch my uh, own business, own fashion brand and I was selling a skincare and I was doing many 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 business and yeah, I was starting many small business since I was in uh, sixth grade uh, since I am 12 year old. But I feel like business thing I know for me and whenever I do the business I don't feel like I am alive anymore. I feel like I'm too far from my reality and I feel like I'm too far from my uh myself so yes i have a lot of a lot of mental breakdown and i have a lot of panic attack and anxiety and so many depression when i was studying only economy i am still studying the business they now only learning about the business and only doing business make me feel like i'm a useless <laughs> So I got a lot of my breakdown at the time. So this is my experience from choosing this university and this major for my future career. My another topic is uh, why I changed my career. I think I have to talk about my childhood first. I was really into singing, dancing, drawing, and you know I was really into stylist, other and. Uh, I really into design. The uh, the fighting I really into when I was little. I have a reason about uh, why I am really into about all those fighting. And my reason is, you know, I really want to make other people smile just because of me. I really want to make other people feel happy and feel satisfied and feel cozy whenever they are with me. I really want to be the someone who make other people happy, who make other people smile, and who make other people beautiful. These are the all that I really want to be when I was a kid. But all this did not change when I was in 12 year old, when I was in sixth grade. I have strong enough reason to stop all these dreams and all these things. I was not talking about the business thing and I was studying about the business thing since I am in 12 year old. So yeah, a lot of my childhood dreams stopped at 12 year old and I just forgot about all these things. I thought like, oh, I will be okay about all these things because all my family and all my relatives and all the people from my environment are happy to do their business. So I am going to be happy woman if I will be the successful business woman like other people from my environment. But I just remember all these things when the, yes, when the COVID started. Actually, uh, all this thing you know, started in 2019 December, but it really hit me hard at 2020 April and 2020 June because uh, we have to stay at home just because of COVID, uh, just because of pandemic. So I have to uh, live at my home. I can't go out and I don't have you know, I don't have to study at the time, so I have a lot of time to talk about talk to myself, and I have a lot of time to talk about my inner child and my child dream, and I have a lot of time to listen to my inner child. I talk uh, to my inner child again, and I start listening to my inner child again, and I just realized that I am not happy to be here. I was doing a business thing, and I was thinking like I am happy because I got money, but in reality, it's just not. I was just thinking like that. It's just not really make me feel happy and alive to me because I would never be thinking about being a uh, business woman, successful business woman in future. I'm okay now, by the way. I really feel depressed and I have uh, made a breakdown and I have a lot of any attack and anxiety at the time just because of the reality hit me. My inner child said I should follow my childhood dream again. Since then, I was trying to follow my childhood dream again. I am on my way for my childhood dream and I am so happy to be here. I do my inner child and I do the pandemic because of because of pandemic I have a lot of time to listen to my inner child so I also want to thank you to pandemic. The reason why I change in my career, the reason why I am here, the reason why I am in front of you guys right now is just because of my inner child. We got a I got the opportunity to listen to my inner child again. So don't forget to listen to your inner child guys. It is really important for you. After I follow in my inner child dream, uh, my childhood dream, 
I start feeling like I am alive again. I feel satisfying every day, even though it's a bad day. <sighs> even I got a bad day in my life, I still feel lucky and I still feel happy and I still feel alive to be here. Since I am uh, changing my career, I am more work harder. After I follow in my dream again, I just realized that all I have to do is hard working and don't give up. I promise you guys that I will work harder and harder. So I hope you guys will smile and I hope you guys will feel cozy when you are watching my video. I don't know. I, I feel strange and you guys may feel strange, but I want to tell you guys that I am so proud of you guys. Never give up. Okay. Let's go to the end part. So guys, in the end part, I want to talk to you guys about my important message and my important note for you guys. The first thing is my important message for you guys and that is never forget to listen to your inner child because they are always willing to tell you guys about what they really want to be in future, what they really stop in and what you really want to be. You will never be late to listen to your inner child and you will never be late to Follow your childhood dream, so trust me, you can do it. There is the love one of my important note for you guys. So, and that is one of my philosophy. So, that is never uh, run towards the many or never follow the many. I never walk for many, never walk something, never do something for many because if you are following to the many, if you are running towards the many, many will leave you, many will run away from you. All you have to do is just work for yourself. Just work for your future and just work for your dream and just work for your beloved one. If you are working for yourself, your future, your beloved one and your dream, the many will follow you. It can take a time but the many will follow you, you will be the master of many and then you will have both of the many and happiness in your life and you will feel alive and also I was not talking about the happiness that you can get from many that you can buy with many or something like that I was talking about the happiness you will never ever get buy with many then happiness is pure then happiness are not came from friends then happiness came from your Achieving goal and send happiness care from your care from doing you know something that make you feel alive. So never follow many, let many follow you. Thank you guys for watching this video to the end. And I want to tell you guys that three things: listen to your inner child, never follow the many, let the many follow you, and the third thing is I am so proud of you. Never give up. Okay. Bye bye and also thank you for giving me so much so many motivation by your view. Thank you for being my energy. Thank you for being my motivation for every single one that watch my video and that subscribe me. So bye bye everyone. Hope you guys have a nice day and night life. I'm so proud of you. Bye.